Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing tonight? I am so glad that it's Sunday and that we are back with another Dungeons and Dragons night. Oh, and I'll tell you, I can never get tired of our intro song. We love it, we love it, love it. Jeff Kurtnacker did that for us. Totally awesome guy. And um, I've been chatting with him some over Twitter. He's totally awesome. I love, love, love uh, chatting with new people and getting to know new people. So, uh, yeah, it's been totally awesome. So, let's get started. Uh, let me jump into Twitter tonight. I mean, not Twitter. Let me jump into Discord. Let me tell you what channel we're on first. I jump into Discord with everybody. Because they're all there. And... There's there's a book. It's not a highly well-known <laughs> book of Lord of the Rings. Most people don't read it. Hi, Jeff. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Hey, no, I was listening. Lord of the Rings. <sighs> um, but there, there's it. a book that isn't tied into, like, the, the ring or anything of the sort. Okay. But it's uh, the story of, like, the hierarchy, and it explains, like, how Gandalf and uh, Saruman are actually angels. Okay. But people just call them wizards. Gotcha. Because that's how the world understands them. But, I mean, yeah. Here or there. Totally awesome. Jerem? Hey, how y'all doing? Are you, ready to, are you ready to kick some butt and uh, take names? Oh, go friend. It's Dragon Knight. Dragon Knight. I'm all excited. Dragon Knight? Is this Pokemon? I tell you, it could be. No, not really. Got to catch no, them was, all, right? <laughs> I was thinking about, yeah, that made me think of Final Fantasy. <laughs> oh, right. Dragon Knight, not Dragon Knight. No, Got no, it. Dragon Night, evening, late oh, afternoon. <laughs> oh, I thought Dragon Knight as in a night. Okay, never no. mind. See, I don't. I know nothing. I am the uh, yeah. I'm thinking Pokemon. <laughs> You're thinking of a knight with a K. She's thinking knight with an N. We're we're all good here. Yes, yes. we're all good. We'll get all on the same page because <laughs> Kidley's gonna give us a recap of what happened. Yes. So where are we? I totally forgot my notes. Um, just to answer Reiko's question, uh, it says it's a bonus action. Okay. Sweet. Oh, I'm not but yes. That. Welcome back, everybody. So we are in the middle of a battle once again with our group of heroes. You guys were trying to get a nice night's rest when the town was attacked by the very cult that you are pursuing. You've managed to deal with most of them so far, but the dragon has come down and is looking for dinner. So, uh, we're back at the turn order, and it's actually Sigurd's turn. So what do you want to do? Oh, crap. I'm not on my channel. Um, um, um. Uh, uh, how far is dude away from me? I need a minute. Oh, here we are. About 15 feet. Um. Um. Can you hear me? No, we couldn't. You keep cutting out. Uh, yep, you're cutting out. It's frozen. Wonderful. Thinking, uh, you could type it. How about now? Oh, no, now I can hear you. That was much better. Okay, internet's being fuzzy. Uh, I'm gonna bonus action to hide. Okay. 
Um, and then I'm gonna fire at one of the two cultists. One on the left, the red one. Okay. Uh, do I have advantage from being hidden? Uh, no. Oh, wow. Okay, so just a pot shot. And an 11 is a hit. Wow, okay. Uh, all right, roll damage. Uh, six damage. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna move. You don't want to stay there with them? Well, I mean, they saw me, so I'm gonna move. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Could be here. Could be here. <laughs> now. Now that Moves inside the, the wall. I'm gonna move inside the wall. Get get close to Reiko and like I think they saw me. Yeah, probably. And then that'll be the end of my turn. You just hear like the dragon just roaring like outside the wall. <laughs> Reiko's like, point out me now. <laughs> you ran to her. Reiko's trying to figure out what to do. <laughs> I have some ideas. Oh dang. All right, I'm going to cast this at level two. So the two acolytes are go up to the dragon, and they touch it, and they are uh, healing the dragon. Oh, God. So there's heal one. Here's heal two. Crud. Because <laughs> he actually did take a bunch of damage. I think I had gotten a pot shot like before we ended. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. And so we are back to Leosin. So Leosin is standing outside the gate and he, he saw Sigurd like go in and he's like, guys, we're going to have to deal with this thing. And yeah, I actually, I think it. he's like, fine, I will, Reiko. So I think uh, Leosin actually did a uh, lightning bolt at it the first time. I think so, yeah. All right, so he's going to go ahead and he's going to launch off some magic missiles at it. So that's one, two, three. So it takes a little bit of damage there. See, Reiko, it's not that hard. <clears throat> I just give him a look like, and then kill it then. <laughs> so Sandro, he, he walks out the gate and he orders his skeleton out as well. And I forgot to bring up the sheet for the skeleton. So he orders his skeleton to fire an arrow attack at the, uh, at the dragon. So the skeleton fires his short bow, and he misses. Sandra then holds up his arm, points his fingers towards the, the dragon, and he is going to cast Eldritch Blast. See, don't I have like a roll for that? Let me see here. I thought I had that on my other sheet. Yeah, here we go. Nice. Straight one. It's been rolling so bad. <laughs> All right. Nami. Um, I wanted to ask a really quick question. Um, so we did rest, but it wasn't considered a full rest. So my ring of ram is not charged then, would you say? At Correct. All? Didn't okay. she use her two charges at like the whole for <laughs> you use like one charge at the first battle and then you use the second cool. at the second gate? So yeah, we haven't yeah. rested since then. I would we think. just been fighting the whole time. Mm -hmm. uh, no, but I thought we went to sleep. 
Nope. No. Oh, we did Bef it? Before. That was, that was, yeah, before. Before uh, all this happened. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, woke up at like 2 a.m. Yeah, something like that. Okay. I knocked out. It was a deep sleep. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, okay, so then I guess I don't have that. That was my big uh, thing that I wanted to do. So I'm going to fire at him. Let me see how many points I have. Uh, boing, giddy, boing. I am going to uh, fire Guiding Bolt at him. And okay. I'm going to fire it at a level three. Okay. So. Oh, wait. Did Ooh. that work? No. Oh, crap. wow. Big money. Very nice. Something it didn't ask me what level, so it sh may, might when you hit the damage. Oh, okay. Gotcha. There you yes. I'm going at a level three. Let's go, baby. This is gonna be a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. Sweet. Let me, let me right away take away one of my points from my three. Okay. That's 45 points of damage. Oh, what? Damn. Holy cow. I am a DPS now, not just a healer. Did you see this, guys? Did you see <laughs> my bolt go flying through the air? Oops, as sorry. I yell out to everyone because I'm totally elated that <laughs> it actually hit. Um. And I'm actually doing some some monk damage, you know. Yeah. With my my uh, <laughs> partners in crime over here. Flexing. Go so away. when you see the uh, when you see the guiding bolt hit it, it it like hits it like right in the almost the chest area, and it knocks it back, and it almost kind of like rolls over and then kind of stands back up. It rolls over and stands back up. Okay. Well. You ain't seen nothing yet. Okay, so I take my trusty spiritual weapon <laughs> and I. Wait. Yeah. How come it didn't go in? Oh, it did. It did. Okay. I just saw, I saw Tom's thing. Okay, and come on, big number. Six. That's good damage. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. Cause that's just straight damage, isn't it? All combined together, yeah. That's all. That's my turn, by the way. All right, Rico. Okay. Wait, what did he do from that? What boop, What did the, What did he do when I threw my thing at him? Did he Did he do anything? Nope. He just oh. took it and moved on. Oh my god. Who are you just targeting now, Nami? I'm sorry, what? Who are you targeting? Uh, the dragon. Oh boy, oh boy. Um, the cultists, how are they looking? If I could, like, get a peek. They've both been hit. I am going to do a thing. As I get ready, I look at both Leos and Instagram, like, want to see a trick? And I run out to the red cultist and uh, punch, punch. Hey, whoa. Nice. That's a crit. <laughs> Die. <laughs> And you punch him so hard, he flies back 10 feet, and he's dead. Yes. Oh. And then I, I run over to the other one, and Floria blows. Direct a key point for it for good. One. And two. Okay. And you hit this one, bam, bam, and he falls to the ground dead. <laughs> nice. And then I look at the dragon. I blow it a kiss. 
and then I cast. Where is it? Hold on, it's like way at the bottom here. Maybe not. Hold on, hold on. New thing. Well, I can't find it. Oh, wait. Shadow step. So, all of a sudden, just these, the shadows just seem to get really intense around me, and I just poof out of existence. I'm gone. Sweet! All oh, Sigurd sees is a wall. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, Nami, cool. Nami and Jim, you all of a sudden just see Reiko just disappear. Where'd she go? I have no idea. I didn't know she could do that. <laughs> Boop, very like Nightcrawler. Bam. <laughs> We're on to Jim. Okay, so seeing that the two cultists are out, uh, can I get some? Uh, <laughs> so the cultists were helping to control the dragon. So I would like to do a true strike to get a hopefully get a. Um, look at the dragon's defenses. Okay. Uh, I don't know if there's anything I click or if that's just it. Uh, magic grants you a brief insight on your next turn. I gain advantage. Okay. I don't know why it has a spell save there. Yeah, I don't know either. Okay. So it's got... an. An AC of 16. Uh, and... I think you guys are reading the spell wrong. I don't think it actually tells you anything. Just it, gives her advantage on her next attack. No, it gives me a brief insight into the target's defenses. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or do you think that's too literal? Um... I think I think that sentence was just a description of the spell and then the effect of the spell is like your insight into the defense is that you get advantage on your next attack. Uh, I don't think it works like extract as aspects. That makes more does, sense. Does like telling you resistance or anything of the sort. Anyways, that's just me. Uh however Kelly wants to do it. I'm sorry, I interrupted. I, I can't really argue the point one way or the other, so I don't. I don't know. Your call. Well, I mean, all that we know is a sixteen, right? Yeah, we already 18. know that. So then we could just not give any more info on it. Yeah, that's if what you want to do it that way. That's up to you, Kidley. It's your call. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so then I will get to roll advantage. Provided you get to roll advantage I, I'm on the next one, yeah, yeah, the next turn. Okay, yeah, well, like, so like, that's uh, the end of my turn. Okay, okay. Um, has anyone attacked out. the dragon since Guiding Bolt? No, no, so that I don't means, think so. uh. So that means the next attack on the dragon automatically has advantage from Guiding Bolt, yeah? From Guiding Bolt? Yeah, Guiding Bolt, uh, one of the side effects is it does the damage, but the next attack on it has advantage. Mm. So, like, if Reiko hadn't bamped out and had hit the dragon, she would have had advantage on whatever attack. But if not, then you do, because it's your turn. Yeah. Game. Right, because I didn't attack. I wanted to look at his defenses. Right. I'm just making sure I have advantage before I poke my head out from Guiding Bolt. But, uh, 
Je oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. She got advantage from True Strike. Um, yeah. It didn't attack the dragon yet, so that means yeah. the advantage is still there. Nice. So, okay. um, that being true, I'll pop my head out and I'll shoot at the dragon. Um, 20 hits, I had advantage, mm -hmm. so I gained sneak attack. Okay. So that's 15 points of damage. Nice. I don't um, know how much I did. It was a lot, though. Didn't like 40-something, 40 40 I thought. Something? Oh, yeah. You did, uh, you did a ton of damage. Okay. Um, and then mm -hmm. I'll move back against the wall, and I'll use a bonus action to hide. Uh, sorry. Oh, no, no advantage on that. Sorry. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right, that's my turn. So we're back to Leosin. Uh, Leosin is going to do fire bolts. Jeez. That's a fail. What's with these ones? I don't know, but you're rolling on our side right now, so quit rolling those ones. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I see. They just want me to come and finish off the dragon. I see how it is. Sandro's skeleton with a short bow is a miss. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> there is on me. Or Reiko. All right, let's see here. Let's try that Eldritch Blast one more time. Nope. I know, because he had a 16. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute, I just realized the dragon is not on the board. What do you mean? What oh, damn it. Oh. rolling. Oh, damn it. That's it right. He's oh, hit, he fine. figured it out. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> he got initiative one, so it doesn't matter. He's winning. The dragon the was distracted by its handlers and was like, huh? <laughs> the dragon's uh, at the top of the board now. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. So, a dragon kind of flies up just a little bit where he just kind of like flaps his wings just en enough to get off the ground and to get above the uh, the wall. Oh, that's just rude. And here's what we're going to do. Fifteen foot cone. So this is everybody. I knew we couldn't have bunched up. <laughs> Except for Reiko. Good. I'm behind a wall. I should have cover. <laughs> I am not up there. I am behind a wall. <laughs> well, he's also up in the air. I was gonna um, say, isn't he? Oh, he took off above? in the air. Yeah, like I said, he's above the wall. <laughs> and he's like looking down at an angle yeah. at you guys. I would. Say you might. You might have partial cover, but you'd be the only one that has partial cover. Okay. I don't know what that does for a, a save, but okay. Uh, All right. Let's see what this does. Each creature in the area must make a DC 12 Constitution saving throw, or you're gonna take a bunch of damage. <clears throat> <laughs> or half. So, of everybody make their con oh, save. Yeah, and no, we'll I take the 22. <laughs> now, is my con save on advantage or not advantage at this moment? Everybody's at normal. Okay. Constitution. Yeah! Baby, big number. Yes! 20. So yes, Jim! The, the nine is Sandro... The 12 is Leosin. The 
The five is a skeleton. How big is this cone? It said 15, it's a 15 feet. feet. No? Yeah. 15 yeah. foot cone. Yeah, but that's how long it is. No, radius. It's a cone it's a starting. Cone. No, cone as in, like, it goes wide. So the biggest it goes is 15, right? 15 feet. Uh, so essentially what the dra what a dragon would do is it's doing a head sweep. So oh. it's starting, like, where Nami is, and it's sweeping around. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So... <clears throat> The 22 damage goes to everybody who failed, and then half that if you saved. So 12. Okay. So what's the, how much damage again? I'm so sorry. Total? 12. 12 for Nami. 12 for me. Okay. Yep. yep. 12. So I got to deduct 12. Make me do math. 30. I just count down and count the clicks. <laughs> so the skeleton dies. Oh no. And then when you guys got that, we'll be back to Nami. Uh, okay, well, I'm still good health wise. I'm okay. Not dead yet. Uh, so I am going to shoot at this, uh, sucker one more time. Um, and, oof, do I want to do it at... You know what? We're, we're going bold. Uh, we're, oh, sorry, excuse my language. But, um, we're going to use Guiding Bold again. And... That's a hit. And we're going to do... Do it and, uh, it's not going to be as crazy as the last one. Why? Because you didn't crit. That's why your number was so big. Oh, so are you seeing for me to save my uh, level? Because I'm probably going to be small anyway. Well, I don't care. We're going. Do it. That's 19. Nice. So the guiding bolt releases from your hand, hits the dragon in the in the chest. And he starts flying funny. He then heads right for where you guys are at because I said earlier that the wall was 10 foot and then the tower is like another 10 foot above that. Mm -hmm. It crashes essentially head first into like the wall and the tower, bringing the, bringing the tower down backwards with the two of you still in it. Can we do a reaction? So, I will have both of you give me a dexterity saving throw. Okay. So as the tower is falling, the, both of you essentially leap out of the tower. And I'm going to say, Jem, you're going to take 10 points of damage. Oof. And Nami, you're going to take 15. Oof. 15 now. And the dragon is dead. Oh, well, I'm yes. Okay. I'm a woo. <laughs> I, I was like, okay. So let me do the numbers. You mean you said fifteen damage? So I have this much. I need some wellness. Yes, dragon slayer. Yes, I'm now the title dragon slayer. Yes. <laughs> okay. So Leosin runs over to where the tower has fallen and. He's kind of like looking through the debris a little bit and he finds Jem first and he kind of like pulls you out of the debris and he's like, are you okay? Oh, uh, I think so. I don't, I don't think anything's broken. Oh my gosh, check Nami. Yes, can anyone see Nami? Uh... Since I'm close, I'll start looking for her. 
Did I see where she jumped out of the tower at? From where I was at? It'd be just like on the other side of like the debris. Oh. And it it probably partially collapsed on this house that's like right here. Uh. Poor house. <laughs> Well, then I'll get up and I start trying to kind of crawl over the debris a little bit, I guess. I'm yelling, Sammy, where are you? I'm here. So, can I talk or no? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know how I'm damaged here. are you. <laughs> uh, 18. Oh, no. I ha uh, yeah, I have 18 hit points. So that's pretty decent right i would assume but as yeah. long as as long as yeah i'm here i'm fine uh I leos and Ka leos and cast light because it is dark out okay just so you guys have more visibility um with the light present i start looking at the bodies of the cultists around us um do, does any of the armor reflect Frank, Bob, or Joe? I, I forget their names all the time. <laughs> I like those names. <laughs> and Jack. No, no. These look to be just the, the general footmen that you guys have seen before. Okay. Um... Uh, I would then help Nami out, and then I'm just going to book it to the other gate, and then uh, do the same thing. Uh, I'm looking at the the corpses, if they resemble the three cultists I'm looking for. I don't believe they would be at the first battle back there. While over there, I'm going to see if their carts are missing. Yeah, so... This is going to take us back a, a little bit to where you guys, when you were at this other gate. So they have carts four, five, and six. So their three carts are the carts that are outside the gate. They're, again, they're like the, the brownish ones that are in between like the two like, like blackish or reddish ones. Okay. These? But the carts are still there. Yep, carts are still there. Uh, I'm gonna. But you will you will notice that they are gone. You don't see them currently. The cultists, the cultists? are gone. The 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 carts are there. Yep. Are the items in the? I'm going to their carts. And would I see Rico at all? <laughs> Is she hiding, or would I be able to see her? Um, I guess. Like, when all this was happening, you didn't come out? Well, um, so I definitely saw the dragon fall. Did I, like, hear the tower crash, I'm assuming? Oh, yeah, it made a lot of noise. Yeah, um, like, timing-wise, how fast would have Sigurd made it over to me? Not fairly quickly. I would have been helping pull out Nami. I would have taken like a minute to look at the cultists and then... Right. So I guess in that time I definitely would have come over as well. It just kinda happened so fast I couldn't get a word in. Um made sure everybody was okay and I was actually thinking of doing something very similar. So maybe to kind of wreck on it. Maybe I'm with you at this point. Okay. Because I definitely want to go kick those carts in. So yeah. But I wanted to make sure everybody, <laughs> everybody else was okay. Yeah, so us having the same idea, we're going to go to the carts and see if the items that were hidden were st are still there. Yeah, their yeah. carts look to be in intact and fully loaded. I start ripping open the doors. Yeah, we're going to investigate this stuff. <laughs> mm hmm Um... What's in the cart? <laughs> uh... So in in that cart, um, it is full essentially. That particular cart is loaded full of 
just sealed containers of of different sizes. And I go over to one and attempt to rip it open. They are locked. Um, I have thieves tools. I can okay. unlock them. Uh, I just look at you and I'm like, this is the first I, time I, I'm pulling out my thieves tools. You thought like, I was just a normal soldier. Yeah, like, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do with this. I don't. I don't actually, let me check. I don't think I have thieves tools. I'm pretty <laughs> sure I don't. I'll double check that. It's been a while since I had to think about that. Um, no, I do not. So I'm just like, I, I don't. I'll, I'll throw the box down on the floor just because I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, what attribute do I use for Thieves Tools? It has a query on it for this. What you get when I played my Rogue, it's like your dex and your proficiency, if I remember right. Yeah, but I've, I've heard different DMs go, it's like, it's your intelligence plus your proficiency, or it's your dexterity right. plus your proficiency, depending on the lock. So that's why I'm asking. I'll let you choose. Uh, dexterity it is. Now I can say what's in the box. <laughs> As you attempt to mess with it, you get electrocuted and you take one point of damage. What? Whoa! Ow. Um, Recognizing this, I'm gonna look, look at Reiko and say, "Get the sorcerer, <laughs> get you." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stupid box, and I just, I'm gonna try and damage. It. I'm just gonna take my foot down onto it. Do anything? Okay. No, give me a uh, an attack roll. <laughs> oh. Roll damage. Yeah, good. Okay. Okay. Um, there we go with the 10. So you, you managed to put a really good dent in the box, <sighs> but you also get electrocuted. Ow. How much? One, One point damage. And I'm on, no, I'm not. <laughs> I, I look at her and like, did you have fun? Will you get gem, please? She might be able just, to do something about this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Do you think by this nice. time, uh, Nami and I maybe would have started our way over there as well? Uh, that's possible, yeah. Okay. So, maybe I'm out here in the grass heading over there? Yeah, I'll pop out of the cart and I'll see you and I'll be like, hey. There's a box, and it's got magic. We need help. Ooh, magic. <laughs> it's, it's nasty. It shocked both of us. <laughs> oh, it shocked so you? Before, before yeah. you guys can get any further, uh, make me a perception check. Yes. Ah. If uh, I see me? them, I'm going to Spoiler like, tackle of fun. them. No. <laughs> <laughs> What are we doing? Perception? Perception. Okay, so... Sigurd, you see them coming around the corner of the of the town. See who? Um, how much of a lead? How far are they? Maybe 50 yards. <sighs> so do I have time to do anything? We should, like, grab something and run. Um, I would look at Rekio and say, put the box up. Put it back. I do that. So we both lift the box, and then, like, I motion to them to get away from the cart. Um, I'm actually going to then go here, I guess, like, over here, and I guess attempt to hide. Okay. Um, I am going to, would I, okay, I kind of want to do two things, but I wonder if I have time to do it. Would I have time to do Pass Without a Trace and then potentially reuse Shadow Stuff? And what's Pass Without a Trace do? 
that just gives everybody advantage on stealth rolls. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're good to go. Okay, so I will put that info up for you guys. You have to stay. I think it's within 60 feet of me. Let me double check. Is it advantage or a plus 10? I think it's just a straight plus 10. Okay. I was going to say, I could have swore it was a plus 10, but then I could be wrong. Yeah, plus 10. So, oh, you have to stay within 30 feet of me, and then I'm going to... You know what? No, I'm going to save my key point. I'm just going to... Are you going to follow me, I guess, over there? Yeah, I'm just hiding. You're in the trees, right? Where'd you yeah. go? There you are. Okay. I'm in the trees. So, yeah. I just um, don't well, know if I'm 30 feet. Uh, yeah, maybe... Let's real quick kind of follow Sigurd. We're all kind of clumped yeah. and so get advantage also, of that roll. Also, Gem and Nami, if you're trying to hide, give me a stealth check. Stealth? Okay. Is that oh. with advantage? They said you guys should be an archery, then you'll get plus 10. <laughs> I, oh, I'd that say that's still, that's still 60 feet. 30. I. Or, so would I get plus? Actually, that's only 5 feet. Okay, we're good. Well, we have to use, we got to be a little bit careful on this measuring thing. So, like, when we're measuring and fighting, we're going to go by that. But uh, um, okay. in this scenario, we have to do a little bit different because, I mean, the carts are, like, seven feet wide, you know? Got it. Okay. So. So, yeah, if you guys want to move over that tree, I would. It still might be about 30 feet. Okay. I'm just there. So, we'll, 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 we'll say it is. I rolled okay, 20 okay. in my um, stealth. Plus 10 then, so 30. I'm at a 32. <laughs> okay. If we add the 10. Oh, yeah, I did it. So. I'm the GA, so I guess it's 3 plus 10, so 13. Okay. So you guys were, were fiddling with their stuff. They're, they, they come around the corner. You guys are all able to successfully hide for the moment. Um, and um, whenever, whenever they get 30 feet, I'm just going to shoot one. Oh! So as they're approaching, as they're approaching you, you can hear they're having a conversation, and they're intentionally being very loud about it. And I uh, because the go ahead, Jim. That was me. I said or, if I see Sigurd knocking an arrow, can I kind of hold a hand up, hearing this very obviously loud conversation? You'd have to not put a hand out. You'd have to like touch me on the shoulder or something. Okay. Yeah, I do that, and I'm like. It's at you. Okay. Uh, I would get the gist and hold my attack. All right. So as as they're approaching their their cards again, they're saying, "Man, those cultists, terrible. It's a good thing we were able to take them out." <laughs> I love. I'm swinging my left arm yeah. back and forth like Haiti, Haiti, ho. Good job, Frank. Man, you really got that one good. We saved the caravan. Excellent work, yeah. The uh, heck? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Is there anyone other than the party to hear them? Yeah, so all of the regular caravan people are there. So, like, Hayden is up at his cart, the barbarian lady. They're, you know, when you guys approached, they were, like, hiding behind their carts or under their carts or, or whatever. Ooh, okay. I'm going to punch them. That's right, because we didn't really have, like, a... In the stands, so stay by carts. Got to get that. Got it. That's right. Because everybody was essentially <laughs> sleeping when this when yeah. this happened. So the um, the cultists kind of get closer to their carts, and they they look at the uh, the merchant that's like behind their normal carts, and uh, they see him there, and his name is Pan Horman. They're like, "Hey, Pan Horman, you okay back there? We uh, we took care of him for you." And he's like, "Yeah, we're, I'm fine." Liars? I know, right? I want to go rip their tongue out. <laughs> He's lying. So that's where they're at now. What's... Are you guys going to do anything? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do something. What you going to do, Navi? Oh, I'm going to go and say, hey! I slayed the dragon. Oh, man, that's the only time I'll ever say that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I, uh, I want to go out there and I'm going to say, hey, 
You were nowhere around. Me and my friends took down all of the cultists. Where were you? So you kind of startled them because they didn't know that you were there. And so one of them says, we were over there fighting the cultists. Didn't even know there was a dragon. Uh, I want to use my ring. I would say okay. only an idiot would not see that dragon. <laughs> Sorry, I said the... <laughs> oh, he's totally lying. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I have to be sure, and I don't use this ring enough. So Yeah. <laughs> Huh. At least your ring works. Uh, question. Do the armors match at all between the Acolytes, uh, the Cultists, and these guys in any form or fashion to resemble, like, any unison? No. No color scheme, no nothing. Nothing to justify that they're a part of the same group. So oh, generally, the acolytes are wearing black. The cultists generally are wearing a red, and then these guys just have something that is much more advanced, much more ornate. Yes. Um, I I'm excited about the lining part. So just go kick their butt for the lining part. I'm going to try something. I'm going to cast Thaumaturgy. And what I want to do, <clears throat> very interested to see a reaction. Um, I want to, based on everything that we know about the cultist, I want to try and like create this phantom voice that sounds like maybe some authority that they would recognize, not that we've met. Well, I don't know if Reiko's met anybody, but like somebody that would sound commanding and just create this illusion of like, you fools, you failed your brethren. You let one of the dragons die. How dare you? You're a disgrace. And just like make it like, very scary and booming, and I just want to see how they react. Okay. Like, you've disappointed us all. <laughs> so, you, you do this, and not just them, but I think, like, everybody just starts <laughs> looking around. Oops. <laughs> like, what the heck? they have what the heck look or do they look like oh shit or they're just like what the heck um let me let me do this like or could i try like a deception roll or something like that yeah add, an, add a deception roll on top of that okay, okay okay and you know what i'll do my roll after your deception roll okay Come on, baby. Okay, not Ooh, bad. Nice. Ooh, close. Okay. So the three of them just start like looking at each other with like a very confused look. But then they continue to like look up at the sky and look around a little bit. Okay. And then all of a sudden they they kind of huddle together. I like to imagine I'm like precariously in this tree branch, like right above them, but they can't see me. <laughs> Looking very giddy, like hee hee hee. So something we should discuss here real quick. So Nami went went after him. So Nami's visible. Is anybody else visible? Yeah, hey. I've come out since no. then, sort of like to show I'm backing her up. I'm over here on this side of the carts. Okay. I'm I'm not. I'm hidden. 
bow knocked I'm in my, for something yeah. to happen. Yeah, I'm in my tree branch being a little crap head. So they're kind of whispering to each other, and then all three of them just kind of turn towards Nami. And one of them says to you, what kind of game are you playing? What are you talking about? Seems like you're the one playing a game, telling everyone that you were the ones that were responsible to killing the cultists. I'm going to cast Thaumaturgy oh. again to hopefully amplify Nami's words. And I want in the distance, it's not like there is a really, really angry dragon, just like kind of like to tie in with those words. Like they have really disappointed somebody and they're being watched. Another deception check. Come on, big money. Mm. Not great. <laughs> Frank, fight me. Um, while this conversation's going on, could I use a greater potion of healing? Yeah. Uh, how much is that? That is a 4d4 plus 4. So as the second one goes off, they once again start looking around. Seem, seem more confused the second time. And then all of a sudden you hear, that's it. And the next thing you see is a dragon orb come out from one of them. 19 is going to be a hit on Nami, and you just see a cone of acid just hit you Ooh. for 10 acid damage. I um, knew I it. would have been holding my attack to yeah. trigger it. Okay. Uh, do I have advantage from stealth? Yes. Fifteen hit. Um, since I don't have these color coded, uh, top, middle, or bottom. It would have been Frank. So whoever Frank is position wise. Okay. The one who pulled the orb. And fifteen's a miss. Okay. Yeah. So, if you guys are wanting to do this, uh, we're going to clear the turn orders. And I need to grab a couple things here real quick. But yeah, if you guys are going to engage them, click on your token and um, initiate. I am so sorry. I click on my token and what do I hit? Initiative? Yeah, I roll initiative. Okay. I require healing. <laughs> Me too. I'm looking pretty bad. Yeah. Yay, yay, yay. Okay. All right, Frank rolls a 15. Beans. Uh, 
Actually, Sigurd, you hit him for... Okay. Wait, can I ask a question? Sure. Um, remember I have the gloves? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they say I can use my reaction to reduce the damage by 1d10 plus your dexterity. That's from a... I'm going to have to double check the wording on that. It's from a range attack, I believe. It's like missile, like an arrow or a javelin. Yeah. Not an orb mm -hmm. attack. Yeah, that's like an yeah. AO spray type deal. Oh, okay. Okay, I think we are ready. Uh, let me redo this. All right, Sigurd, you're up. Okay, so I'm going to... Drop the bow, take out my long sword. I'm going to get behind this guy flanking Reiko, so I have an advantage on my attack, and I'm going to swing at him with the short sword. 18 hit. It does. Okay. Um, Uh, 11 nice. points of damage, and then as a bonus action, I'm going to, with my offhand, use a potion of healing, which is how many d4? 2d4? Plus 2? Uh, a regular one? Yeah, just a regular yeah, one. Yeah, 2d4 plus 2. Okay, I'm going to gain... Ouch. 4 hit points, that's fine. Um, and that's my turn. All right. I got to find a different way of labeling these guys for the future. What do you mean future? They're going down now. Assuming they uh, survive. <laughs> Well, you know, running away is an option if you run fast enough. But good luck outrunning a fighter, uh, that uh, monk. The monks are fast as shit. Mm -hmm. So, first one that is up is codename uh, Frank. Codename Frank. And <laughs> um, the first thing you see is all of a sudden he jumps up 30 feet in the air and hovers. Hmm. Wonderful. They fly. Oh, levitation. <laughs> Does that sound familiar at all? Mm-hmm. He then lands over here behind Jim. And he is going to hit you with his short sword. And 18 is a hit for 8 plus 3. Well, actually, you have a resistance on acid, right? Yes, I do. Do you take half damage? Um, One second. Wait, where do I find that? Is that part of my draconic resist resilience? Yeah. Um, let's see, is it parts of your skin recovery that are the associated damage? It's either a half or a none. I don't see anything like that on here, so I'm not really sure where I would find that. Uh, let me go to your thing here real quick. Okay. I hmm. want to say it's in the red area, maybe. The red, over here on this side. Okay, let's see here. Uh, 
You can spend one sorcery point to gain resistance to that damage type for one hour. Okay, so it's something you have to add. But I do have Ring of Evasion. Oh no, that's only if I have to do a save. So this is a sword. And your sword was tipped with acid? His was, yeah. I mean, his was. Oh, so yeah, if, if you want to on your turn, you can burn a sork point to um, add that resistance. Okay. So at least for this this round, you'll take the 8 plus 3. So it's 11. Yep. <sighs> Okay, next person up is going to be uh, Codename Bob. <laughs> His real name. And he does something similar. Or actually, no, he doesn't because he's engaged with um, Sigurd. So... He is going to uh, initiate his orb on on you. Mm. And you're going to take five fire damage. Uh, there should or, be a sorry. save. What's the save? Wait, and who's he attacking? These don't say anything about a save. Uh... All items should have saves. The one earlier didn't have one either. Yeah, let me research it. Let's see, is it a special thing on orbs? Orb is an equipment. Unless you guys can see it, I'm not seeing anything on a save. What books are from? Well, these guys are from this campaign, so they're special creatures. I but can't. even if I go to D&D &D Beyond and look up just orb... But in the in their description on the weapons and stuff, doesn't say anything. So, eight fire damage. Nami. Well, I'm gonna have to do this. And I'm going to do it. Um, here we go. Um, I'm going to do it out of this. Go. Okay, there you go. I'm doing that. That gives up to six people healing. Oh, sweet. So 13 for six. Does that mean we all get 13? says up to six creatures of my choice that you can see within range um each regain hit points equal to 2d8 plus my spell casting ability modifier which was added oh. to yep so that'd be a yes awesome thank so you how much do we get 13 oh 13 okay. yay thank you Woo, needed that <laughs> I'm doing numbers, sorry. Uh, wait, no, that can't be right. 13, 21. I don't see myself. 31. Okay, so there's there's one. Um, so I did that, right? And mm -hmm. then um, I am now going to... Uh, 
Wait a minute. I'm going to color code these guys just to make it a little Frank. easier. Yeah, Sweet. Frank. Right? I'll get Frank. Oh, wait. Frank's over by Gem now, right? Yeah. He leaped in the air and did some fancy footwork. And and Tom Tom attacked Frank, right? Uh, no, I, I attacked the one closest to me. I tried to attack Frank who attacked you, but I missed. Um, but then so I attacked the, the person. In front, the white guy. Okay. I attacked the one in between me and Reiko currently. Yeah, yeah, that guy in front of me. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use my spiritual weapon. Frank. What is that? Is that a hit or a miss? Um, I think you're rolling uh, advantage. Oh, I am, sorry. Because of that one thing we... Okay, here we go. And sorry, you were attacking which one? The white guy. Okay, actually, 24 not doesn't bad, matter. But you know what I mean. 24 doesn't matter, so, yep, you got him. What's the damage? Four. Okay. Oh, God. We kind of just have pretty fly for a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so we're, we're up to uh, old Johnny boy here. Hey, Johnny. Now, Reiko is still hidden at this point, correct? Uh -huh. Okay. So he is going to jump up 30 feet in the air and kind of hover for a second, and then he's going to come down over here where Nami is. And he is going to initiate his orb. And he has the orb of lightning. So a 15. Mm -hmm. Actually, is a 15 a hit on you? What's your AC these days? Are you talking about me? Yeah. Um, AC, where did I be on four? 15. Okay, so that's a miss. Good. <laughs> I'm just we're at, we're at Rico. Well, <clears throat> okay. So seeing this go down. Not that Reiko ever likes to throw in the towel, but seeing that we might be a bit above our heads. Um, just looking around, do I see Caravan Master, Gwenora, Lita, anybody around? Yeah, they're all there. And, it's, and, and what has happened has happened very quickly, so they have not had a chance to react yet. Um, Leos and Sandro? They are... Back in town. Right? They're back in town. Oh, boy. Um, about where whereabouts is Caravan Master and all that? He's up near his cart, maybe... <clears throat> 50 so feet away, or 50, 50 yards away, or something like that. I'm going to. Gonna jump down. Hmm. I'm jumping down from the tree. I'm no longer hidden, so I can see everybody. And I'm going to make a kind of like a get over here gesture to our caravan master and fellow fighters, and I'm just going to call out, Halt. There's clearly been a misunderstanding. Everybody's really tense right now. Everybody, put down your weapons, your orbs. That's, that's 
My action. Okay. So you uh, immediately see uh, the barbarian lady, like, run over, like, full speed. And she gets, like, in the middle of all you guys. And she, like, just yells at, at the, like, the top of her lung. is just, stop. You know the rules. Yep, I'm having my hands there out in a clear, like, stop, this was a mistake. Not on our part, not admitting that. But, yeah, just, like, trying to get this to stop. Definitely trying not to look, like, you know, aggressive. Yep, and you can see, like, Caden, like, or, or not Caden, um, Hayden slowly walking over the, um, the three guys, like, tuck away their orbs. And you can see they, like, just kind of slowly, like, walk away. I'm going to grab my guy as a reaction. I'm right. going to fall and grab him and pin him to the ground. So whatever you check, you need from me. We will do, do a strength versus strength check. Not athletics, acrobatics, just strength for the strength. Oh, okay. If you want to do athletics, that's fine. Uh, sorry, wrong one. Okay. Um. Okay. So the two of you start struggling. Um. Along with my athletics, I want to try to sleight of hand the orb away from him. Okay. Nice. Nice. Let's see. Um, and the destination of the sleight of hand is into the bag of holding. Let me roll. Uh... All right, I'm going to say that you get a hold of it, but he catches you. And he, he like, grabs your wrist. If I see this scuffle, can I go over and just, like, try to physically get between them and, like, shoulder them? Maybe shoulder. Yeah, definitely shoulder the cult is harder, but just be like, knock it off. Um, yeah. In response to him grabbing my wrist, I would attempt to, uh, I guess, acrobatics myself out of the hold. Okay. Yeah. But I'm in there, um, like, bumping shoulders and being like, get off of each other. <laughs> all right. So, so I'm we'll hoping, do I was hoping to break any grappling happening. Well, if she's doing that, would that give it me advantage on the acrobatics check since she's helping me get separated? I guess. Well, I, I will say 11 versus 5, you do get separated. Okay. Um, with that moment, I'll put the orb in the bag of holding. Uh, trying to... Uh, yeah, I would try to slide it into the bag of holding so he doesn't see where it's going. He knows that you have it, though. Uh-huh. So he's going to pull a sword on you? And I just look at him like... Knock it off. Uh, I don't know what's my, happening. So. My swords are sheathed, so I would just step back. No, so he yells at you and he up. says, "And he says, give it back now." I look over my shoulder, I'm like, "You take some." Um. This is a fire orb, yeah. Yes. Am I s currently still smoldering? Maybe a little. Uh, and I know what this item is, right? I know it's a dragon breath thing. It's been yeah. described to me by many people. Yep. I would look at the barbarian, and I would hold the orb up to her and say, what would a non-cultist need 
with an orb of dragon's breath. She gives you a confused look. And then I point and say, they're cultists. The people who attacked us, they're part of them. And that's why this is starting. Um, so at this point, Hayden has definitely made his way down to you, and he, he probably heard that. Okay. And so he, he says to you, Now, Sigurd, you know the rule. We can't be fighting and killing each other. I'll look at him like, they just tried to burn down a town. Well, ice down a town. Jem, you got something to say? Yeah, but it's sort of like before this gets any further, I was. It, it, never mind now. No, oh, sorry. It's okay. So Hayden says to you, uh, and and what proof do you have exactly? I didn't see them attacking the town. Only these other ones. Only these other what? He's like referring to the, uh, like the dragon and the ones that were wearing the the red and the black cloaks. Gem and Nami. Sorry, what? I, I'm just looking at Gem and oh. Nami, seeing if they have anything to pipe up with. Um, I mean, these guys are cultists. There's no question about it. They're carrying a uh, dragon's breath orb. Aren't they both carrying, just out of question, or out of character? They both are carrying orbs, correct? They oh, all have orbs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they all have orbs. They're all carrying orbs. They sat here and claimed that they are the ones that killed the cultists when that, in, you know, clearly was not true. It was us who, who saved the town like normal and so i mean something needs to be done with this i'm not going to continue at least for myself i'm not going to continue trying to save this caravan if you're going to allow obviously the suspect individuals to continue on you're putting not only my life in danger but everybody else's the entire caravans we don't know how Gus died, you know. There's just been so much shit. Oh, excuse my language. So much stuff that's been happening ever since we got and joined this caravan. So I don't know about anybody else, but unless some they are addressed or something is addressed, uh, I probably want to bail out at the next town. And I'll, I'll sort of pipe in. Town. I'll pipe in and agree with Nami, and I'll say, besides that, I thought the rule here was we didn't attack caravan members. In case you want to check, none of us are carrying swords dipped with acid, but check this guy over here standing in my direction and check my wound. And I, I challenge uh, Hayden to investigate. Oh, at, the, he, at this point, he's like holding up his hands. Now, just calm down, everyone. I may, Hayden. Or, what did I say, Caden? I don't remember. Caden. Oh, <laughs> man. Caden is drunk sleeping under the cart. All right. Great. <laughs> wait, so which guy? The old wait, man. Right? Hayden. <laughs> What's the yeah. one? Hey. So, Hayden, is, he's like holding up his arms. Okay. And he Oops. says, everyone just needs to calm down. Sure. But if I may 
further plead this case, Hayden. Um, back a few weeks ago, um, we did run a little reconnaissance mission just to get a beat of character on these three because we were suspicious. And um, I, we didn't mean to have any sort of deception. We were truly concerned for the safety of the caravan and the amount of events that were happening. Um, and as a monk with the monastery, the Mayabora, um, we wanted to collect information on a as official basis as we could without showing our cards. And the conversation we heard was very interesting. They basically admitted to being cultist and that they are having a contact where our ending destination is. Um, I know we don't have any hard proof, but I have three witnesses in my party that were along with me on that information gathering. Um, so I agree with Nami, Jem, Sigurd. I think it is absolutely paramount for the safety of this caravan that their involvement with it should be scrutinized heavily. All right, question out of character. Yeah. Are, did you like pull Hayden aside to say this or are you saying this in front of everyone? I'm saying it in front of everybody. So they are hearing this. Yep. Okay. Nothing to hide. This is ridiculous. We have done nothing wrong. Do you have any sort of proof? I just said no. No, you don't. But. Sure all Reza's we want. Waiting. All we want is just to get our supplies. To water Resmir? I don't know who that is. Mm. Liar. Funny, we mentioned that name the other day, and you had a very visceral reaction. Well, I have a question for you. Why would you go and tell everyone that you're the ones who killed all the cultists that were attacking this town? Why even claim that? That's not what we said. We said we were attacking defending the cultists from over there and he's like pointing off to like the north or whatever show i didn't see i didn't see you anywhere show me a body that you killed not any of the ones that i've seen over there and there we killed we literally ran around and killed from every entrance including the huge dragon that pretty much knocked, well, did knock down the watchtower. Was it the watchtower? I'm yeah. sorry. Okay. You got it. Oh, <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> well, good for you. You must be very skilled. Uh, question. Yes, don't forget good. how skilled we are because you could be gone, like, immediately. Not me. Don't piss me off. <laughs> I'm upset. <laughs> she lied. Don't take her off. <laughs> uh, Question, Ring of Truth-Telling, does it require attunement? Yes. Okay, we're fucked. But you, well, you, you would have already attuned to it, though. Yeah, but I was wanting to hand the ring to Hayden and describe what it is and have him wear it. Ah. I would but also it, like to look... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. But how long does it take to attune into an item? Usually about an hour. I look at Hayden. I did name drop my monastery, and I clutched the sash around my waist, and I say, what reason would I have to lie? This is literally my job. I understand, but it's your word against theirs. I, just... I look at him more pointedly. I'm like, what reason would I have to lie? And he's like doing like, a calming motion. Not aggressive. I'm just saying. You know, I could just compel him to speak the truth. Out of character question, can I do that now? 
Uh, if you want to. Okay. <laughs> so I I cast suggestion with my fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I cast it against, um, who's the main guy that's been doing the talking over here? Well, I, I would say that everybody's been kind of grouped up a little bit here. Okay. But to answer the question... Uh, if they're moving um, like that, I'm going to be moving away from them. Um, I don't like the idea of being surrounded. <laughs> Bob is uh, Bob is the the main one. Okay, so then it's Bob that I will cast suggestion on. Come on, Bob. And Fail. If it's, yeah, if it's successful, I will compel him to tell the truth. Gotta make sure he doesn't have any kind of resistance to this sort of thing. Okay. Um. If he can't be charmed. Okay, this is a wisdom, a DC 14 wisdom saving throw. Uh, what? Uh, what? What? I just saw DC 14. Yeah. It's a uh, wisdom. Oh. Yes! Oh. <laughs> yes! Yes! A so I... Thou shalt speak at the truth. So I point to Bob and I say, You must tell the truth about this incident and you must tell the truth about who mm, about your affiliation like is that okay is that allowed we're just double checking um or it should be more specific spell. Oh, I guess it's a suggestion. I could say, I suggest you tell the truth. Right now. About this incident. Yep. Would that well, work? I mean, it, it, it fulfills the requirement that the action must sound reasonable. It is a reasonable request. The question is how Kidley interprets harmful act and, well, no. Yeah. Uh, I'm not spell. asking him to kill Ends. himself. Yeah. And that's why I withdrew the second part. But he must not tell yet. the truth about this about this incident and this battle tonight. So essentially he starts spilling his guts. Yeah. No. Limited, I would think. Let's do this. Um <clears throat> So since since he rolled a nine versus the fourteen, I'm gonna give you five questions. Yes. What? That's. I mean, thank you for being okay. so generous. <laughs> okay, we need to we need to come up with some good questions. Yeah, you have a minute to group huddle. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I mean. <laughs> Definitely. So you're gonna you're gonna give me five questions. Yeah, you can ask him five questions. Okay. That he can't lie to. That he can't lie to. Oh, get yes. it, get it, Jim. I like that. I like. Okay, so I like Rako's question a lot. Yeah. But, but I gotta start small. Gotta start small. Remember, we gotta convince the old man. So, who, who threw the first punch That's tonight, good. in our little skirmish here? Uh, I think they did because they got mm -hmm. mad at right, me. Right. No, I'm asking. I'm asking. This is in oh, character. Oh, I'm asking. So, Bob, She's who threw the all. first punch tonight in this little skirmish? I actually got to look. Which one has the acid damage? It was Frank. Um, no, Frank, Frank did the breath of fire first. No, Bob has the fire. Frank oh. was acid. Okay. Yeah, Frank Lightning has acid. was third. 
Write this down. So Somebody he... attack me first. Alright. So he looks, um... Oh, it says right like here, Frank his... attacked. Yeah. So he, he's kind of like shaking his head back and forth a little bit. And he, he just looks like he's starstruck. And he says... And he points to Frank used his orb of dragon's breath on that one. And he points to Nami. Excellent. Second question for you, Bob. Are you and your group cultists? Yes, we are members of the dragon cult, and all of you are, will, are going to die. I look at the old man, waiting for a reaction. So Frank and uh, John are like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, not cool. Question number three. Who's Rasmir? To you. R Who's Rasmir to you? Rasmir is one of our great leaders. A prophet. He will help us bring order to this world. Question number four. What were you and Frank and the other guy really doing during the attack? We were meeting with a local leader of the cult to organize our plans. Ooh. Question number five. And I stop and I think for a minute. <sighs> Knowing this is my last question and it must be a good one. I look around to my friends to see if they have any suggestions. Would you kill Hayden or other members of this caravan if you had to? And I glare at him with my squinty eye. Only if they got in our way. And I do a little bow and I say thank you. And I feel quite so satisfied. So John actually goes over to you, Naomi, and gives you a shove and says, what did you do to him? <laughs> oh, sorry, Jim. I was going to say, I look at him and say, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I say it was nothing. I just simply suggested that he tell the truth. Would you like me to do the same to you? You lay another hand on her, I'm going to bust your, your face. <laughs> and when you say that to him, he, like, gets a worried look on his face, and he, like, backs off. <laughs> um, at this point, I'm going to try and pocket the orb into the bag of holding, because I don't feel like holding this thing while battle. <laughs> okay. I kind of chuckle, and I feel quite smug about our situation right now. And I look to Hayden again to see what is his reaction. He he seems a little bit surprised, but you actually don't get that much of a reaction from him. He's actually just kind of like sitting there, just like listening and like rubbing his beard. Uh, how did the barbarian react to him saying he would kill Hayden or anyone in the caravan? Mm, she didn't say anything. She's just, she's just like sitting there listening. So as you, like, essentially ended your, your spell, so to speak, uh, on him, he kind of went faint and kind of dropped down to, like, one knee. And then he stood back up, and he just looks very angry. I want to try to intimidate him a bit more. 
And I just say, because I'm assuming my order is a little spooky to people, I say, you better watch yourself. I've got people in all the dark shadows. And they will come swift. So you better watch yourselves. So, um, Bob just kind of like gives you the squinty eye. Staring him down. I've got my quarter staff ready to smack him. Well, clearly we are not wanted here anymore. I'd say that's a right assumption. Fine, we'll leave. And so Bob says to the other two, get to your carts. We're leaving now. So they head over yeah, to their carts. Uh, they start to get on, and they're getting ready to leave. Um, I'm going to look at Reiko and kind of give a look of, are we going to stop them? Are we in a condition to stop them? That sort of look. <laughs> I look pretty bruised up, <laughs> despite all my tough acts. Okay. I just look at him like, mm, let him go. Okay. And I'll just say, well, between the uh, spell, you, and I'm looking at Jim, you brilliant. Ooh, amazing. Um, and uh, I'm hoping some of that name dropping I just did uh, really set them on their toes. Hey, it takes a team. Absolutely. I'm excited we finally got to the truth. Yeah, and I say, looking back at, I'm going to screw this up, Kata? Right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> um, truly, I think, and I believe my colleagues would agree, that this is for the betterment of the caravan, and we will be able to protect you better without knowing that we have this looming threat of those three traveling with us. Yeah, perhaps you're right, but right. after the larger incident of tonight, I don't know if we're truly safe either way. Well, to a point and an extent, sure, but I don't know. They, again, can't say who killed Gus. But, um, oh, I should have asked that. <laughs> I, uh, I do think the caravan members will be safe without their presence here. So, you guys watch as they pull their three carts out of line and just start heading down the road. And I pull out a Dorbin bomb, and no. <laughs> <laughs> and end the campaign. <laughs> Fuck it. Um, I'm going to keep that in my little, I don't know, pouch I have somewhere. Oop. Oh my gosh, do I have like a bomb just dangling from my hip? <laughs> <laughs> that seems on point. Um, I kind of look at Reiko, and I look her up and down and say, you look like trash, and hand her a greater uh, potion of healing. I hand up, and I'm like, I got potions. <laughs> well, then drink some before they come back for this orb, and I start I walking will. into town. <laughs> <laughs> and I do like a little, little cough of blood into my hand. I'm like, what? Because everyone forgot I had the orb. <laughs> I take this opportunity to grab a healer, healing potion as well. 
Whoops. How do you make that work? Are you doing a regular or a um a greater? Well, actually uh no, never mind. Um so yeah, are you doing a regular or a greater? A greater. Okay. So you do a slash roll 4d4 4 4 plus 4. Slash roll space forty four plus four. Oops. Uh, save. Wait, a slash roll what? Yeah, so that's right. Oh, thirteen. Is that okay? Okay. So I get thirteen more health points back. Yep. Okay. Thank you. And I, I visibly deflate, and I just start walking back to town. <laughs> that puffing up took a lot of right now. <laughs> so as you guys are kind of walking away, Hayden says, "Now I would suggest everyone uh, help with the town if you can, but otherwise." Yeah, get, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm just waving my hand back, and I'm like, "Yep." Mm -hmm. Good night to sleep, I suppose. Uh, Is there still time Reiko. to sleep? <laughs> Sorry. I, I look at Reiko and say, we need to let them know that there's a cultist leader here. Yep. We don't know where, but there's a local cultist leader in the vicinity. Yep. We need to tell Sandro and the, the other guy. Absolutely. Where's that idiot? Eosin? Myson? Lysol? Yeah. Is that his name? Lysol. <laughs> Lysol? That's his name now. So, Lysol. As you guys oh, head yeah. back Lysol. into into town, uh, you'll notice that people are, like, just helping other people, you know, putting out any fires if there are any. Um, that's sort of, like, northwest side of town. The... Te technically, the attack that... Um, the dragon did is actually a um a hail blast and so the, like all that has now melted so there's just like puddles everywhere wow. so we should probably check people's roofs make sure they're not leaking um i'm going to like you know start from square one and i'm gonna go all the way to the first battle and i'm gonna start um searching bodies i don't know, I don't yeah, know what i'll else track to do. down the ocean i'm with Rico. Oh. oh uh i can do a, a grand total because you, you basically just find money. Okay. Well, we'll do a grand total later, I guess. Uh, Those cults are ready to shop till they drop. <laughs> Don't stop till you get enough. Come on. <laughs> um, I'm going to take out the orb in front of Leosin, and I'm going to be like, is this a dragon breath weapon? And he's like, ooh, nice. He stole then, it. He stole it real good. And then I'll put it back in the bag of holding. And then I think we'll relay kind of what happened post-battle. The fact that we we got three baddies to go away and also local cultist upon this town, don't know who, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So, Leosin says, Well, it's, it was good you were able to get them out of the caravan. I'm sure it will cause you less trouble. Unfortunately, the side effect of that means it will be more difficult to find their, their location in Waterdeep, whether they have a warehouse or a guild of some description. Yeah. Yeah, but um, I kind of look at him and I say, "The orb's a precious item, isn't it? It would be 
a worrisome if, you know, we got into town and it was up for auction. And I sort of look at Sigurd thinking to myself, surely he wouldn't really do that. <laughs> I get a really evil look from Jem, do I? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm thinking this is being a sorcerer. I'm thinking this is a very bad idea, <laughs> but I don't say anything. <laughs> I was talking and uh, I was like, "Oh gosh, oh, I girl. guess I'm not being heard." I was wondering why uh, we were so oh, quiet. Oh no, we didn't hear you at all. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I was like, me. I was saying stuff, but um, what I was what I was going to re uh, reply to on the um, I was going to tell Caden. Well, you know, their leader Resmir is pretty much where we're you know heading anyway so i'm pretty certain we're gonna run into them again true okay so how much of the town is destroyed how much are we helping with uh was hayden saber leaving the next day basically we're not going to yeah, he, would, he would have conveyed that he wants to leave in the morning. Um, as far as damage uh, to the town, there's <laughs> actually not that much damage. Uh, the, the gates are busted down, and there's probably some <laughs> roof damage to the buildings in that blue area, but other than that, it's fine. Okay. Uh, death, destruction, people? Anyone people-wise die in the town? Um, yeah, Question. there were probably some, some deaths, especially from that, that initial attack from the dragon. Yeah, commoners only have, like, what, one to four hit points? Yeah. E kind of as I, for... Go, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, but as far as repairs and whatnot, I, I really don't think that we need to worry about that. Yeah. Do you think? I mean, I'll, we'll just leave it to the townsfolk that... And yeah, not to sound callous, but... We were I'm hired tired. to protect the caravan, not to rebuild the town. Plus, I'm tired. I don't know I'm about exhausted. you guys, but I'm super tired. <laughs> um, I think we're oh. going to go up to bed, Leo. Where, where are you going after this? Are you hanging out here? I mean, you definitely should tell somebody about a local cultist or something. Uh, yes, we can definitely in inform the mayor, and it's, it's good to know that the Harpers... We'll be able to help as as well. And actually, as you say that, uh, Dalrock like walks up. Summoned. What was that? It's like he was summoned once. You just said Harper's. He was like, poof. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. So as, as he walks up, he says, uh, "Hey, what's the uh, situation? I was helping the town folk during the uh, bulk of the attack." Ah, oh, jeez, and I tell it again. <laughs> Aye, that's uh, quite the story. Anybody else want to hear that again? No? <laughs> okay. Hmm. I'm kind of having some thoughts, but I keep them to myself at the moment. Oh. Okay, okay. But I, if you say that there's a leader of the cult in that area, it will definitely send some people around to investigate it. I kind of look at him like, you might want to, because the only reason this town probably got attacked is because that leader told them we were here. And maybe, uh, I don't know. Is out of character, Sigurd and I still have not signed up for this uh, cool um, group. Yeah, I was um, having the same thought. <laughs> yeah. Um, you might want to have some of your colleagues, I don't know, maybe do a sweep of other small nearby towns just to flush out any possible uh, or hitting cultists that might instigate an attack like this again. I an excellent idea. Uh, I mean, my... Sorry. My guess would be 
They thought they were bold enough to hit the town and the caravan at the same time to try and get all the resources. But yeah. with your help, it failed. So yep. where did we're you awesome. say you were, Delrock, during the bulk of the attack? Because we were at all three, we were at both gates. Well, all three gates. Well, uh, Leos and uh, Sandro and I were, we have rooms in the, in the inn, so we were all sleeping. And we woke up, uh, they went wherever they went, and when I went out the door, I saw the, the dragon in the icy path, so I went sort of towards the, that area of town, helping people out. Uh, uh, Ring of Truth? Hmm. Sure. I would like that, uh, yeah. Uh, he is telling the truth. Okay, just okay. making sure he's not okay. a cultist. I would hate for us to. I, I would at... hate for this to turn into Scooby Doo. It's like he's a man in a mask. Yeah. <laughs> I look at Sigurd oh and I'm God. like, mm hmm. <laughs> Sigurd looks unworried with his uh, with his answer. Um, okay. Sigurd's gonna pull Reiko aside and be like, we might want to join just because. Maybe. I walk away from this little pull aside. I pull aside Leosin. It's very awkward. <laughs> it's like, hold on, stay there, go over, pull over Leosin. <laughs> to, to me or... What? Yeah, you you just stay there. <laughs> well, no, are you pulling? Are you taking Leosin to another side, or are you yep. pulling him to our Super side? Super awkward and obvious. <laughs> it's like, I'll just you know. Just uh, is there. there is there a chair nearby? Oh God, a, yes, a bench. <laughs> or is it just rubble bias? <laughs> yeah, you can probably find like an area of the broken tower that's like. Oh, this is a nice place to sit. I'm just going to go <laughs> sit on, like, you know, the rubble, and I'm going to study the orb and probably accidentally, like, give a flame burst. <laughs> so you pull Reiko, or you pull, uh... Reiko pulls Reiko. It sounds like, listen, girl, yep. we got to get it together. <laughs> no. Um, uh, no, Leosin aside. Leosin. And, like, dude... I have some questions. Yeah, what's up? And I uncomfortable body language. I'm like, you kind of know my deal, yeah? Yeah, of course, Rico. Um, I just... I'm a little... I don't know... I don't... I don't have any way to contact Jay and, like, see if this is okay. I've, I've taken oaths vows and all that boring blah 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 stuff and I'm already kind of committed to an order and earlier this guy said and I'm just trying to dwarf man um like you guys have like networks and spies and stuff like and I gesture to myself like hello <laughs> like I, I just conflicts of interest I'm a little worried well it's, it's more like a, a side deal and if you wanted to, you could write a letter and send it with me, and I could, you know, I could get it to him. If you wanted to ask him. But really, it's just it's just a side side deal. Okay, okay. Um, you got some paper on you. We can do it in the morning. It's true. Okay. Just. Just before you guys leave, just meet me at the at the tavern. I'm rubbing my eyes. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. All right, fine. fine. Then I just walk away, and then I walk over to Sigurd. I'm like, okay, okay, I'm in. Let's do it in the morning. Fine, fine, fine. We're good. Is there any hesitation to walking up with a rogue that's playing with a flaming orb? Nope. <laughs> okay, Fire. she's brave. She's tired. Fire. She, she's brave. <laughs> She brave. <laughs> she brave. <laughs>
<laughs> I don't know how the thing works. <laughs> I like... Oh gosh, what if I just like smack you on the shoulder like, I'm good, and then like you touch the orb and it goes... <laughs> <laughs> I just look at y'all and say, look, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Sigurd, yeah. don't hurt anybody yeah. with that. I'm going to bed, too. But if you need to, please do. Please do. <laughs> I'm still upset. But where's the inn at? I forgot where the inn is. it the one with the green thing? We weren't it's, sleeping in the It's end. actually the one where, yeah, Dubu is still passed out. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was wondering where Dubu went. Um, I was going to ask about it, but yeah, that's where I'm going because I've had a long day. I killed a dragon. First time. Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer. Have <laughs> any of the rooms become available because their current occupants are dead? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, they're actually full up. Ah, oh, beans. Wait, oh, we can't? I, we I, I, go, I follow Nami to her room and just crash on the floor. <laughs> yeah, I go back to the tent and I just pass out. Oh, tavern. Oh, we Very have unceremoniously. We, we were sleeping in tents but when this all happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are y'all talking about a tent and I'll follow Wait, you out so there. do I go to the tent or do I go back to my room? I'm confused. We didn't you have, don't have a room. You have a tent. There. Oh, he was just hanging out at the bar. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. passed out. Yeah, he, he was in the meeting room where he passed out. Right. Dubu was hanging out at the bar after hours. Okay, so we're all passed ranking. out. I'm getting back my points right now before I forget. Yep. So um, Sigurd looted all the bodies. The total on that, and you can do whatever you guys want with it, 35 gold, 27 silver. You just make it a 40 even so we all get 10? That'd be nice. You have to do math now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what was the number again? 37? Uh, it was 35, 35 gold, 27 silver. 27 silver. Okay, I'll take the 5 gold and the silver. You guys just take 10 gold. How's about that? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Fine. Does that sound good? Sure, Dragon Slayer? <laughs> yep. Cool. It's okay. And then um, I could have done it without you guys. Uh, so five gold. So I have one ninety. And then and well, how many silver did I get? Yeah, well, the silver was twenty-seven total. Oh, 27. So I'll take the silver too, just to make it easier, right? You guys just take the ten gold. Um. So thirty-seven. And what I have is oh, another quick thing before we uh, wrap up here in about a minute. Everybody leveled up. <gasps> Woo oh. Woo -hoo! oh my gosh. This is a Pokemon thing. At last. So if anybody wants me to walk you through it later this week, let me know. Uh, if anybody wants to do that dual class thing we've talked about, we can look at that. Um, otherwise, just go to D&D &D Beyond. Do your level up. And then I will make the changes on roll 20. What are we, level Oops. 7? Level 7. No. Okay. Level 7. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Well, thank you, everyone. This was really fun. Really, really fun. Yeah, Hopefully that was I, awesome. I did a little bit better with my RP when I got pissed about lying and dishonesty. Awesome. That was great. I, I loved, loved it. it. Mm -hmm. Now, everybody knows, don't lie to me. Don't lie to Nami. She will. It's okay. She will strike with you with that dragon bolt. slayer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, dragon slayer. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. I'm gonna stitch that on your cape, Nami. There you go. That's amazing. Tomorrow. Now, not if I tonight. could only get it in Star Wars, then you know I'd be happy. But um, I'll take it for this right now. I'll take the title. Anyways, thank Too you guys. Funny. I have to scoot now. I'm sorry. Okay, goodbye. But I will see you guys next week. If awesome. Have a good one. Good yep, have a good night. All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight for another episode of Dungeons & Dragons, coffee and cheesecake style. We hope you all had fun. And we'll join us next week. Uh, wait, next week, right? Kidding? Yeah, we're still good next week. Okay, next week, 6 o'clock Central. Wait, what? I said, I said woot. Oh, like, okay. Excited. Woop, woop.
<laughs> yes, we're all excited. Level up. This is so awesome. So, I have a flaming orb. <laughs> so we have lots of questions. Can Sigurd not hurt himself with the orb he stole? And <laughs> what will happen to the cultists now? Dun, dun, dun. So we will see you all next week. I uh, hope you all have a great Monday. And uh, we'll just uh, sign you all out to some more music from Jeff Kurtnacker. Thank you and good night. Thank you.